Good morning, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Archivet YouTube channel, where we are a family sharing our faith and having a little bit of fun. However, today falls on the not so fun side, but we're still gonna share it with you guys and I'm gonna give you a teaser right before this intro rolls in. Oh, and this teaser is not at all. So that teaser was not at all for today's video. If you caught it, you caught it. It was probably too dark, which is a good thing. So, um, well, hmm. That's the laundry room. And today, <laughs> well, it's a good day because the washer quit on us. He quit on us, this is what it does. I came home and it was stuck at rinse. So something is not right with the washer. And now I've got a whole bunch of wet clothes that I've got to unload and then go wash elsewhere. And I could I could dry them at home. Probably get them dried elsewhere too. And then drain this water and figure out. Oh yeah, see it smells like it's burning now. Hmm, it didn't do that earlier. So anyways. <laughs> I'm assuming a motor or something went out, a fuse, potentially, probably not since it makes noise. Uh, I mean, I don't know, there's, there's quite a few things that could be wrong. I'm no washer expert, but I do know a thing or two. So we're gonna get all this out, clean out the water, and then maybe see what's wrong with it. Cause it still spins, it still spins. I mean, I can spin it by my hand, so. It just talks. It says, oh, I don't want to wear it. That's what it's saying. At least if it was a washer and it could talk, I'm pretty sure that's what it would be saying. I don't want to work, man. I'm tired of washing clothes. They're always stinky. <laughs> so, I guess, uh, yeah, let me drain the rest of these clothes, put them in the thing, get them put over uh, into a new washer and a new dryer, and, well, then we shall take ours apart and figure out what's wrong with it. And fingers crossed that we don't have to replace it. Hee <laughs> hee. Yep, there we go. All the clean clothes are out. They're right there. And now we're gonna go get them washed and dried. And I, I mean, they're clean because they did go through this, like one of the wash cycles, but there's still some soap in there. So they gotta be like rinsed and then spun to dry them and then spun in a dryer to try it. <laughs> Our hands deep in the water. So the boys are home and they helped me empty this old girl here. And you know you're a car guy when you jack up your washer to fix it. So we found the problem and it was a sock inside of the pump. Go figure, that happens a lot. And I'm telling you, taking a sock out can literally save you hundreds of dollars. Because we could have just thrown this thing out, this whole washer out, bought a brand new one, and it could have been a sock. Sock. So, I'll show you guys right down here, hopefully. It's a little too dark. Adi, can you grab the phone on the counter, with the flashlight, please? <clears throat> Make sure you got towels. <laughs> I got drenched. I'm glad I didn't have the GoPro down here when I pulled it out, because, uh, yeah, that was a mess. You gotta swipe down from the top. There's a little flashlight. Perfect. Alright, so down under here. We're not talking to you, Google. Just go away. Thank you. Alright. So, right here is where this pump sits, right on the shaft. Shine that light upward. Like that. Perfect. So, this pump, hand me the white pump next to you. It sits right here oh this is difficult do this one handed it goes on there just like uh, uh. two seconds 
All right, with well, a little bit of wiggling, we got the pump back on there. So then we secure it in. And now we'll put the little, this little hose on here. And this bigger hose will go up there. Wait, all right. One of these ends goes up top and the other one goes on top of the pump. So kind of easy process and it could save you a ton of money. So there we go. Get this done. Hopefully get it started again. Whew. Well, there we go guys. The pump is connected. The hoses are put back and we have John, daily electrician on the live stream going. <laughs> So what better way to fix your washer than watch a live stream with your buddy. And then all we gotta do is it's on spin. And it works, it works, it works. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these jack stands out from under there. I know, <laughs> improvise, right? Improvise. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just lift it up, drop that out. Pull that out and then set the washer down and boom we're ready to wash clothes again and we do not have to buy a new one so if this helps you guys out on um, fixing your washer saves you a few hundred bucks drop us a comment down below let me know ours is just an old Kenmore, Kenmore. I mean I love these little things they run forever you just take a sock out every now and again, and you're good to go. <laughs> Smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Ring that bell. We're on our way to 10K. That's our goal for this year, 10,000 subscribers. We can do it with your guys' help. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a great night, and God bless. Also, go check out my man, Daily Electrician. Oh, not <laughs>